Welcome back to my channel. So I've seen a lot of people film videos like this and I don't think I've ever filmed a video like this. So I thought it would be fun to kind of highlight some newer palettes, some older palettes, some favorites of mine from my makeup collection. And today I'm showing you some palettes that I think are just so trendy and perfect for springtime. So if you guys are interested in seeing the palettes I picked out, just keep watching. So the first palette is one I don't think you guys have ever seen on my channel and this was one that I kind of had to wait for it to come back in stock because by the time I decided to get it of course it was sold out and it is the little sugar pill fun size palette. This is a little pastel palette they came out with I believe last year and I like that sugar pill is now being sold on Ulta and you can also buy them on Beautylish, so that's really exciting. I picked this one up on Ulta when it finally came back in stock and they just have some really fun pastel shades. I've been trying to play with my pastels a little bit more just because of the season and I feel like there's so many new pastel palettes coming out like the Huda ones and the new pastel pup palette from Menagerie. Now these ones definitely look better when I layer them on a white base but yeah it's a cute palette. I'm glad I bought it. I like this price point. I think if I can get some shades for a cheaper price with smaller pans, I'm totally here for it and it's adorable. So that is the first palette I wanted to mention to you guys. So the next three palettes are all ones from ColourPop and I feel like no spring palette recommendation video is going to be complete without the monochromatic pastel palette. So I have two of them. I have the mint palette and the lilac you a lot palette. I am not supposed to be buying anything color pop this year, but I totally caved when this one went on sale. I had wanted it for quite some time and then I was able to pick it up for $9. So I was like, okay, it's kind of like a little bit of a no brainer and it looks really quite flattering on my skin tone. I really want to do a video where I make a look with both of these. So let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing that. And then I very recently whipped this one out and started playing with it. So I had a lot of fun. I wore the shade Ghosting and the shade Fluff on my lids. So I definitely want to continue playing with this as well. My favorite ColourPop monochromatic palette is the It's My Pleasure palette. This one, not as good as that one, but yeah, these are so cute and for that price point, I could hardly say no. So it was fun to feature that in this video. And then another one that's a little bit of a newer palette and this one is definitely for all the neutral lovers of spring. This is just such an easy palette. Even with my skin tone, I can still make a really good amount of eye licks with this palette. They also have a brown sugar palette, which I think will be very flattering on people with my skin tone or deeper. But since this is a newer palette and it has that like, you know, creamy packaging, I just thought it would be a fun one to include in this video. And I think you can do daytime, nighttime, glam, you know, everyday looks with this palette. So I really love those three for spring from ColourPop. So the next palette I featured in my older palettes that have been on my wish list that I would like to buy but I haven't bought yet kind of video that I did. And this one I actually did end up buying. So this is really funny because I've really wanted this palette for quite some time and I never really thought I would end up with it. And then they started selling these on Target's website but this one was out of stock when I checked. So then I signed up for the notification and I got a notice that it was in stock so I did end up buying it. This is like a $12 a palette from NYX and honestly look at that next to those sugar pill swatches. They actually show up on my skin tone so I'm really pumped for this. I've only used it once so far, but look at these fun shades. And then they do like a matte and a satin and then a shimmer in each color. So it's monochromatic, but it's monochromatic within each different color story. So I really think this is such a cool palette. I wish NYX would come out with even more of these just to kind of give their line some oomph because I think these were definitely some of the funner palettes that they did quite a few years ago. So the next palette that makes me think of spring and summer but mostly spring is the Creepy Cute palette. Now I bought this when it originally came out and honestly I haven't been reaching for this quite as much. But recently I think I've had like a little awakening for pastels and I got the P. Louise white base and I've been a little bit more brave to try pastels again. So I've been having a lot of fun 
using this palette in other looks and I combined it with my Lilac You A Lot palette and used some of the green shades in my waterline and stuff like that. So I hope to continue playing with this and this palette came out when Shroud Cosmetics used to be called Strobe Cosmetics so it says Strobe Cosmetics on here but it's like one of the only pastel palettes for the longest time and now I feel like there's like an explosion of pastels so yeah I feel like this is like an OG it's an oldie but a goodie and I definitely am glad I kept this because for a long time I was like should I declutter it it's really not getting any use but it's a fun one to have and I'm very very glad to have it so the next palette this is kind of a random one I feel like Give Me Glow came out with this in the fall, but I can definitely see all of us incorporating this into spring. And it might be the rosy packaging, but I also think these shades, like this pastel-y pink shade called Blush Pink, or these like shimmers, even these greens, I don't know, it just reminds me of a garden in the springtime. I don't know. Go with me, guys. I, I'm on a journey. Go with me. So I think this is a beautiful spring palette and I definitely am excited. I want to whip this out and do more looks with this. This was one of those palettes that I bought and then it never really got its moment on my channel. So if you guys see any palettes in this video that you would like to see me make a video on, leave me a request down in my comment section because listen, I'm all open to you guys requesting videos from me. I want to make stuff that I want to make, but it's also fun when I can do something that you guys want to see. So we can work together here. <laughs> so next are two palettes from Dominique Cosmetics. This one is very new to me. I haven't really used it a whole lot. I've used it once, I think. So this is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 palette. And I mainly thought this one really reminded me of spring because of the fun shades at the end here, of course. But it's a neutral palette with some fun pops of color. I haven't played with the mattes yet, so I don't really know what to expect. Like, am I going to need a white base? Is it going to show up by my skin tone? These are all questions that run through my head when I'm playing with palettes like this. I did test the neutral side and it's fabulous. So I am curious to go into these shades. I'm thinking of doing a look with Strawberry Milk and then maybe Frappe on my lid. So hopefully I will get to that soon. And the other Dominique Cosmetics palette that always reminds me of spring and summer is the Lemonade palette. Here's another one that definitely could get more attention from me. It's such a fun color combo. Again, these shades are so, so stunning and... Yeah, it was one of those palettes I think lost its mojo because of the hard pan or there was some kind of issue people were having with the shades. They weren't like picking up because they were pressed so hard. So it was really nice that the company, you know, gave everyone new palettes that were having problems with that certain batch of palettes. And I feel like the hype kind of died because of that whole situation. So it would be nice to go back and try that palette some more and give it some more hype. So another palette that I actually recently used in a collaboration video. I did a cake face collab with a bunch of beautiful babes here on YouTube. I will try and remember to link it in the cards. I created a look that was inspired by this beautiful cake and I thought this was the perfect palette for the job and that video and just filming with this palette reminded me of what a wonderful palette this is. I went in with this pastel blue shade called Haze and it was such a fun shade to work with and I just love everything about this palette. I love that Huda's doing this like plastic packaging. It's like a really nice vibe for her brand really it takes them up another notch in my book so I really really like that palette and another Huda palette I feel like this is the perfect representation of a neutrally spring vibe it is the new nudes palette by Huda Beauty and this palette when it first launched I wasn't really sure if this was going to show up on my skin tone but I've had no problems with this palette and I just think it's so beautiful and I reach for this a lot when I'm doing makeup on my friends and stuff like that. This one and a bunch of Anastasia palettes are always like must-haves if you are a freelance makeup person or you like to do makeup on other people for fun or whatever the case may be. So just wanted to shout this one out for you guys to whip out for spring and use it if you have it. I think it's fabulous for this time of year. So the next two palettes are from Anastasia Beverly Hills and the 
first one I'm going to talk about is the Amrezi palette. Now this one launched this year and it's definitely more darker tones than some of the palettes I showed you guys. But this palette has this beautiful shade called Barb, this beautiful purple called Cupcake, and then the neutrals just make such beautiful glam spring looks and you can really go all out with this it's such a glam palette oh my gosh i really want to whip this back out and do another look with this on my channel if i get the time um but i just love this and this packaging and i don't know this is like one of my favorite palettes of 2020 so far i've said that in quite a few videos and you guys are always really surprised that i love that palette so much but Ah, uh, the one eye look I did with it for YouTube, I loved. And then I was, of course, playing with it off camera as well. So it's just such an easy palette. It's like, reminds me of why I love ABH, if that makes sense to you guys. And then I thought, you know what? The Carly Bible palette is so spring. This shade right here called Mandala is such a beautiful purple shade. And it's just like beautiful neutrals. And it's got that like light, airy vibe. Like, if I don't know. This feels like a brunch palette. Like... If you're gonna go to brunch, like reach for this palette and create an eye look. I do know that a lot of people didn't really like the formula of this palette. I've very honestly only used this palette one time, so I need to use it again. And I know it's on sale, I believe at Sephora and stuff like that. So I just thought I'd mention it in case you guys have it. And like I said, I'm taking requests in this video. If there are any palettes that you want me to create, an eye look just request it in the comments and I will make it happen I'm gonna try and do the most requested palette first like don't just type like do a look with every palette like pick your favorite let me know um, and I will create a look with it for you guys so the last palette that I just thought would be such a fun one for spring is the Manny MUA strawberry dreams palette now Manny is having a great comeback on YouTube and like in makeup recently I feel like he kind of fell off the radar a little bit after that whole scandal and he's managed to like build himself up and I like, think like really win people's trust back. So I'm really excited about that and I just wanted to mention this palette for spring because like look at these shades. These are like fun bright colors. There are some beautiful bright shimmer shades here. This yellow just reminds me of like a sunflower. Some beautiful pastel shades right here. So I feel like this is the perfect spring palette and I think many and Lunar Beauty they do some good sales so you can get these palettes sometimes for really good discounted price otherwise you can also get them at Sephora if you're not sure about the formula and stuff I personally will vouch that I haven't had a problem with his formula so if you've been eyeing any of his eyeshadows I would say this one and the one they came out with for Halloween still can't remember what that moon spell moon spell palette those two have a good formula. I haven't tried any of his previous palettes, so just keep that in mind. Okay guys, so that is everything. I just thought this would be a fun video to talk about some palettes that just kind of remind me of spring. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments, and I will see you guys in my next video soon. Bye!